What is going on boys? Today I'm going to be showcasing this new card that if you if you pay attention to any amount of Yu-Gi-Oh news, you've probably seen this or you've probably seen some other Yu-Gi-Oh content creators talking about this card. But, you know, as a combo fiend, uh, I had to try to find some way to break this card. So, I was testing it with uh, Coelacanth, which you will see shortly. Now, this combo is not, like, the best thing you can do with this card. It's not optimal. It's probably not even practical. But, this is more of a demonstration about uh, how this card can abuse monsters that don't have a once per turn, a hard once per turn. Um, and since this is a Coelacanth deck, I am running the a uh, like Mermail Atlantean engine to help get into the Saruja and Zelantis uh, because of Small World. You can Small World from any water monster into Coelacanth pretty much. So you can play like six copies of Coelacanth if you really want to. I don't recommend that at all, but you can. Uh, also, a benefit of the Mermail Atlanteans is that Minstrel, you can look at your opponent's hand and remove a card from their hand until the end of the turn. So, this combo is also Nibiru proof. It's not completely immune to hand traps, but Nibiru at the very least you can just get rid of it. And of course here is the Mermail Classic. We're gonna go for the Hauk into the Fishborg, and um, before we make the Link Karibo, you'll have exactly five waters in Grave, which means the Bulling Glacia can rip two cards out of our opponent's hand forever. So we banished one card that we didn't want them to have during our turn, and then we just rip two other random cards. Uh, and the Fishborg Launcher, since all of our graveyard is water, we can summon it back here. So now, just off of the D.Va, We've like ripped two cards, and now we have access to a full Saryuja. Now Saryuja is going to let us draw four, and then we can shuffle back three. Now this helps us find the Coelacanth. You can find it off of digging with Saryuja, or you can just small world into it. So there's plenty of ways to actually find this card. And then of course the most important part is that Saryuja can just special summon any monster from our hand, so out comes the Coelacanth. Now we can use the Coelacanth, but first we're going to use the Saryuja as material for the Zealantis because this only requires one plus effect monster. So now that we've gotten all of our use out of the Saryuja, it's a Link 4, we can just one for one into the Zealantis, which is nuts. Uh, and then the Coelacanth, we're going to discard one card. Any, It can be just anything. And we are going to summon out uh, as many fish monsters from our deck as possible, which is a soft once per turn, which we will be abusing. So we're going to summon out a level 4 tuner, two level 3s, which is the Oystermeister, and it's important that it is the Oystermeister. Uh, and this last card, I think it doesn't matter what this last one is, I don't think, but we might see here. We're going to use the 4, the 3, and the 3 to make Baron. Now both Oystermeisters have a mandatory trigger to summon uh, a Oyster token. And both of those tokens are water, so we're just going to make a Coral Anemone. And now we've gotten pretty much all of our use out of the current field. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Zealantis to just kind of like hard reset the board. Now it's important that links, when you're summoning them from the Banish Pile or the Graveyard, they cannot go back to the EMZ. So you'll notice here, we had to summon these to the main monster zones, unfortunately. We're just going to go ahead and use these three. There are some ways you can keep this on the field, but honestly, we're just trying to free up zones so that we can use the Coelacanth again. 
and get like the maximum value out of it. So we have the three mat Appaloosa and the Baron. Now we can use Coelacanth again, discard another card, summon a bunch of fish monsters from the deck. We can go into a Dragite using these two. And then we can overlay the two level fours for the Bahamut Shark. Um, if you want to play another Royal Swamp Eel, um, these two level fours, instead of making a Bahamut, you can also make a, a Borload Savage with your two level fours, one tuner, one non-tuner. Uh, but I like this play a bit more because Toad, f Toad fills the same role as an Omni. He's also a little bit better because he also destroys. Uh, but once you tribute it, you can get back like a D.Va from your grave. And we all know D.Va is like full combo. So the combo just kind of self replaces. Yeah, so we ripped out a hand trap. We discarded two cards from their hand. So they're only going to be playing with a four card hand during our turn. And we have the Toad, the Baron, the Apo, the Dragite. And then we get to recycle the D.Va next turn. And then we would still have two other cards in our hand, which, you know, if you have any extender, you could go for like an IP or something using the Bahamut and any other extender. And you can go like IP, Unicorn, things like that. So this is just a general showcase of how non-hard once per turn cards like Coelacanth, you can just abuse with this new card. And Mermails, after the Aurorodon hit, a deck like this, it's just not great anymore. Um, but if you play like this fish package that we're playing here, uh, can actually be a lot more fun. Probably worse, if I'm being honest. It, this is not practical at all, because all of these fish monsters are just bricks. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, this card's only been out for like a day, so this is all I've come up with with like maybe one or two hours of testing. Um, but I hope this can inspire you, anybody watching, to give this card a try. Um, also, I have a Discord channel linked below where um, people can share their combos and I'm going to try to be a lot more active with discussing combos with people in my Discord, so if you're interested in theory crafting Zealantis with lots of other people, um, then you can feel free to join that. But other than that, that's all I got for you today.